So we're going to have to be out of here at 6. But what we're going to do for the content-wise is whoever don't go on check, the content, check. we outside with it. We're going to get some content outside. All right? Check, so, check. How that sound? But How I, that sound? this piece is very important because I know a lot of you guys are leaving a lot of money on the table by not having your offer dialed in correctly and not feeling confident in your sales process and in your offer. Who feels like that? Like that's them, because I've been there before, right? So I'm, I don't want to, I'm not, I don't, I'm, this is not going to be like a fluff mindset thing, but I, I want to go over the mindset about pricing. If you're not confident in your pricing, I'm not going to be confident in your pricing. If I say, hey, how much you charge? And you say, well, I usually charge 3000 but, you know, I know you know X, Y, Z, and, you know, it's, sunny outside and you got a blue shirt on so I like blue so I could possibly do it for like uh 1350 you know how that sound to you <laughs> <laughs> but that's how we be talking though yep. that's how I hear people talking and that's how I've been before in the past I'm speaking from experience we go into something already with the intention of how we're going to knock this down because we feel like this person can only afford this amount or you know, they know so-and-so and all of these things, right? So people was asking me, and I'm not knocking anybody that does sales, but they was like, why is your mentorship not on sale for Father's Day? And I said, well, is Rolls Royce on sale today? <laughs> nope. So not saying that we, we shouldn't use sales and things of those natures, but it's the whole mindset behind it. Why do I have to have a sale? Why do I have to have a discount? If you have value in what you offer, you don't need to have a discount. And if you're confident in, in what you could do and you're getting, that you can get results for someone, regardless if you haven't had no clients before, because I know that's the next question is, well, I haven't had no clients. I don't have no results. I don't have no testimonials. Well, has the process worked with yourself? Because typically we're our own first client most of the time, right? We've been able to get the results for ourselves. So you, you're your biggest testimonial. And you can say, listen, I'm my biggest testimonial. I've used the process with myself. I know it works because I'm a walking testimonial of my product. So yes, it's $5,000, right? Oh, I don't have 5,000, okay, well, I got an ebook for you. I have something that you can get started on at a lower ticket, but I'm not gonna devalue this thing right here because you can't afford it or it's not a good fit for you at the moment. That doesn't mean I have to lower my price. That's why we have a call to value ladder. You start with a $97 product or even what um, Marcus was saying, a $37 product, something of a recording that you've done already, something that is already digital, 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 to digital, digital, you can use that and repurpose it in a funnel, like my man was talking about, a funnel, a system to where if they're not qualified for the 5K offer, then you could start them with a $37 product, let them get results there, then move them up to maybe the $97 product. But it's all digitalized and you don't have to be the one that's speaking to 100 people about $37. So let's go back to the high ticket. So you reason, reasonably can charge at least a 10x return on whatever your products and services are, what they can get results from over a 12 month period. So for example, um, his mentorship, I think at the moment is, I don't know, because I don't know when y'all gonna listen to this, it could be anywhere from three to $5,000, right? <laughs> So I know for a fact, just for me understanding what he does, that his offer can get somebody 10X that in a 12 month period. That's if you're just being lazy and not even doing nothing with it. Just barely implementing it. It's some people that have made that in a month already. Some people that have made that in a day back their investment. So it's all about what do I do? Can they 10X this in a 12 month period? That's the baseline level of what you should charge. And you have to be comfortable with that. So for example, who has an offer in here that um, helps people get more money in their pocket. Raise your hand. Okay. In 12 months, if they implement your strategies at a high level, what could they make in 12 months? Brand new from the entry level, they can make 50 to 55k. So you reasonably be, <clears throat> you reasonably can charge 5k for that. That's your baseline level. You could charge more than that, but that's the baseline level of 5K. If you do anything less than 5K, you just have to understand that you're giving someone an amazing deal. But it should be 5K. How much can you get somebody in 12 months? 
five to six figures? Give me a number, a for sure number. You have to, and then two, you have to know the number of what, you, what they can get if they do everything you tell them to do and they execute what they can get over 12 months. So that's something that you gotta know also. So given that being said, what can they do over 12 months? 220. So you reasonably could charge 20K for that. So your mentorship that you can get them to the 200K, you could charge them 20K for that. If I tell you right now, tomorrow, you need to start charging 20K for that, does that make you nervous, uncomfortable? No? You, you feel like you confidently, when the next person I ask you how much is your prices, or your funnel, or the things that you put in place that can speak for you, you're confident that you can make that say 20K? Yes. All right, I wanna see that tomorrow. How about you, my man? Oh, he do, okay, how about you? Uh, I on, on average. A year, half a million. Okay, so that's a 50K ticket. If I told you tomorrow, tonight, when the next person asks how much is that product or service, would you be comfortable telling someone it's, it's 50,000? Yeah, because I'm gonna have to go to cheap. You gotta pay the Okay, all right, so we're gonna start, we're gonna, how, how about, who else? How about you? 100K. 100K? In a year. In a year, for sure, 100%. 100K, it done. That's a 10K product. Now, let me get one more. How about you? 100K in four months. 100K in four months? So times three, that's 300K. Because they could do it every four months, right? Well, well we're taxing it. Oh, okay, so 100K in a year, though, but, but yeah. in a 12 month period. Well, you're going to make the bulk of your money in those 12 months from January to April. Okay, so, but in that calendar year, it would be 100K. So you could reasonably charge 100K for that, I mean 10K for that. How about you? What if you can't quantify it? So if, so if my service is building a, a, a brand mm -hmm. and like we put their hair, their makeup, their clothes, the, like, photo, the, the photo shoot, and then they do the off, like off mm -hmm. transform their brand to make content, how do you quantify that? In a so you quantify how, put, putting someone in position for their brand to win. Uh, <coughs> The people that you've worked with, them, or what you do for them, how it's gonna position their brand to make the money that they wanna make. So if I'm putting you in position to make this money, then it's, it's similar. So for example, if you're working with a, um, someone that's a seven figure earner, and your branding and, and your setup and all the things that you're putting in a position to be able to earn that amount of money, then you can quantify it that way. If, I'm, if you're setting someone up and, they, and they're already making 50K a year and then you reposition their brand and get their situation set up correctly and now they can make 100 grand, 200 grand, then you can literally position that pricing based off of the potential earnings that they can make by rebranding and getting themselves in position to have a quality brand. Yep. Um, so now, what does that look like? Do we need the payment up front? Do, are we, are we, can we do payment plans? What does that look like, right? Because I'm sure we're saying, well, damn, I don't know. Do they got 20K up front? Do they got 50K up front? You have, to, you have to tell yourself, okay, how long does my process take to walk them through this? Or what is my digital course plus my coaching, if it's a coaching format, what is, how long is that gonna take for me to be hands-on with them? That's how you dictate the payment plan. Because if it's gonna take me only three months to get you to where you need to be, but over 12 months, that's when you're gonna make that income, I can't have my payment plan 12 months because I'm only hands-on with you for three months. And what you do in those three months is gonna get you to where you need to be over the 12 months. So I, your payment plan will have to be within, if I decide to do a payment plan, would have to be a, a two pay or a three pay. So let's say it was 50K that I was able to get you over 12 months and I'm only gonna work with you for three months to get you to be able to deliver that, then I would need to break that down into three payments or two payments. Does that make sense? No, it, your payment schedule is up to you, but if they don't have it all up front, then they probably might not have it bi-weekly for that, for that big lump sum. You know, it's not like you're getting 100 bucks a week, so. If you couldn't pay me up front, then what's the difference between me breaking it down in two payments bi-weekly? So typically when you're going high ticket, you want to give people 30 days if you're going to have a payment schedule, you know, every 30 days. 
but you don't want to you don't want to have that payment schedule go longer than when you're actually working with them like if you're delivering especially information right intellectual property ip is what marcus was talking about earlier if i give you my ip you got it already i can't pull it back out of your head so if my ip that i'm giving you is over three months i got to make sure that payment schedule is within that three months right so if it's intellectual property information that you're giving them how soon are you giving them the information that's going to get them that 12 months if i could give you that information in a week and it's 50k I can't do no three month payment plan. I'm gonna need that up front because the information I'm about to give you over this week or in this two day mastermind, what if I said, hey, you can come to this mastermind, it's two days, we going through everything you need to do to get your business to a million dollars. I can't have a three month payment plan on that, right? So it's all relevant to how long you're spending with that person. So for example, for you, for the branding and marketing and the things that you do for the client, how long does that take? A month. So you would probably need the fr upfront payment and then the rest on deliverable of the funnel and the things of those nature. So you probably maybe take half upfront and then half on delivery of the of all the um, things that you're that you're giving to that person. How much do you charge right now? Six thousand if I have to travel and five five thousand like if I'm here and I do the outreach. Okay. So six thousand if you have to travel, mm -hmm. meaning you're going to them. Yeah. How, how far? Okay, so a round trip flight from Vegas to Atlanta, first class at Delta is $1,500. I haven't even stayed nowhere yet. I haven't eaten anything yet. And I haven't valued my time on the ground yet. So don't shortchange yourself when it comes to all of these extra things. Especially if, you, if your physical time you gotta spend with people, people pay for proximity. Today you guys, instead of saying, you know what, shit, I'm on Jeremy's mentorship, Man, I got vans recording on the Zoom. Shit, why I gotta pull up? You pay for proximity, right? To be able to pull up on Jeremy, to ha now have a guest speaker come in. You, you met him 500. You got connected with someone that knew about you but didn't, or heard about your software but didn't know about you face-wise. Now, the next conversation you might have might be a little different. It could go somewhere else because you was in the room and he knew that you came and invested with some of his people that he's rocking with. So now it's a different conversation yeah. next time, right? So you guys are paying to be in a room for proximity. People gotta pay you for proximity. You have to charge for proximity. Your time is valuable. You know who wants my time right now more than you? My kids, my wife, my mom, my dad. Everybody wants proximity with me. So why should I give it to you if you don't value my proximity? Right? So you have to have people pay for proximity. So when you are doing in-person things of those natures, yeah, it's 5K. For me to get it all set up, but if I have to pull up, it's 10K. You don't want to just get your base level of travel. What about your time away from your husband? Right? Now you, you leaving him for $1,000? Oh, no, I'm going. Oh, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, but now, so now he got to travel too. Y'all yep. both can't travel anywhere in the United States for $1,000. Spirit won't even do that. <laughs> right by the time you get bags and all of that y'all still over a thousand dollars and you ain't even stayed nowhere yet so you got to factor that in so you got to you got to treat people how to you have to teach people how to treat you i ain't knocking you but i talked to you in atlanta right and you was like how much i told you right did i call you chasing you down and all that no i was like all right cool you know who it is i don't i'm gonna teach people how to treat my brand he was like hey you having a sale i was like nope Right. But he called me and was like, hey, I was like, all right, let's do it. You want me to send you an invoice? Yeah, let's do it. So you have to teach people how to treat your brand. Not saying you don't do discounts, but when it comes to payment schedules, when it comes to time spent, things that you have, you have to factor all that in when you're wanting to base your prices and you have to be confident in your pricing. You're not missing out on money. What you are is missing out on headaches. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. 
So the amount of physical work or how many hours it takes has nothing to do with your pricing. It all has to do with the result. What's the end result gonna give my client and what is that end result worth to them and what is it worth in the grand scheme of things? And that's how you have to base your pricing, right? If I can get on the phone with you and get you to where I have a play for you that's gonna make you six figures or 50,000 or 60,000 and it took me 15 minutes to give you that play, that doesn't change the fact that I need 10% of the play. It took me 10 minutes to give it to you. <laughs> Does that mean that I should only charge you $200 or $300 or $50 because it was only 15 minutes when I'm giving you information that's going to go get you $50,000, $70,000 that you didn't know before and this money is going to change the dynamics of your life and change the whole outcome of what you got going on. So it don't base it off of time. It's, you, can't, you can't do it or how hard you've worked in the past or how hard of work that you've done or how physical the labor is and things of those nature. So for example, I'll equate it back to when I transitioned from working at the gym and then when I went into online coaching. I had that same mentality. Why would someone pay me more to train them and coach them online than if I'm, they're coming in for personal training sessions three times a week in person for an hour? So I'm spending three hours with someone a week in person, I'm right there with them, and then I'm gonna develop an online program to where I'm, I'm not seeing them only, I'm only seeing them once a week and then they're following a workout program. How can I charge them more? Well, what I realize is that I'm helping them get the same result but actually I'm giving them more support because now I can answer their text messages when they text me because I'm not training 15 and 20 clients a day. I can have um, support, they're in support with other people in the community to where they're, we're coming together and they're being supported with other members of the community. I'm bringing on guest speakers. I'm giving them um, you know, more nutritional guidelines. I'm, I'm more involved in their day to day throughout the week versus if you just come and train with me once a week for three times a week, but then I don't talk to you for those the other time. So I'm giving them more value, but I'm not spending as much time with them. It took me a while to be able to, 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 be able to grasp that and to be able to say, you know what, yeah, I can charge 3,500 for this. Versus before I was only charging six, $700 a month, but it was in person. So that's, that's the way you look at your pricing. Any questions regarding the pricing? No, y'all good? All right, so one thing that you have to understand is that you don't have to be the A to Z person, you just gotta be the A to B person or the A to C. Everybody, including myself at times, wanted to be the person that got you from A all the way to Z. You gotta be okay with being just, hey, I'm the A to C person. Once you get to C, I have someone else I can recommend to you. So if I don't know funding, but I know how to get your credit right, I don't have to be the person that can get you funding because I know he knows funding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to that 750 credit score. I'm gonna get your profile wiped clean. I'm gonna get you ready to go. And then I'm gonna pass you over to my man right here and he's gonna get you right. And then like what Marcus was saying, I'll get an affiliate back from him. But me trying to tell you I can fix your credit and take you through a credit card sequence and get you funded and all of those things. Now I'm stepping outside of my league because maybe I haven't went that far yet. But I know he knows that. So wherever process you're at, in your business, wherever you know you're an expert at and that you can get them to this point, just become, just, just focus on getting them from that point to this point. And then from there, transition and get an affiliate with someone that does know how to take them past that next, that next level. What specifically are you talking about though that you haven't done the whole process? Oh, like I know a lot about business funding and then I even have the ebook from Carrie about it. Yeah, so, so it's an ebook. So it's not a mentorship, it's an ebook. Hey, it's an ebook. So, hey, I have, you're given the game in this ebook. It walks them through all the steps. We know it works because I've implemented things in that ebook. Um, the person that gave you that ebook obviously has implemented those things in those ebooks. He knows the stuff that's in the ebook. So, since this is your mentor, if someone hits you with a question, 
and you're in a Facebook group full of people that probably know that information, if you ever got hit with a question that you didn't necessarily know, you could always ask that question in the Facebook group before, and get back to that client and give them the answer even if you haven't went through it yet. But the ebook is the ebook, the information works. But you don't have to be necessarily the one that's the expert. You can say, hey, listen, this information, and if someone calls you out on it and be like, hey, have you done it? Be like, no, I'm in the process of it, but the, the group I'm in and my friends and experts that I'm rocking with, my inner circle, is using this book. So instead of me waiting till I went through the whole process, I wanted to give it out to everyone so we can go through the process together. Be, be real with it. it. It's not a front, because the information works at the end of the day. All right? Any, any other questions? Regarding the offer, anything? No, you good? Yeah. I think we said, because you're, um, I think you're really just talking about the price of life. And you're saying, is there a certain reason why you offer like 697 or 7? Like, what's the, the psychology behind it? Or? Yeah, it's, just, it, it's more of a um, psych, psychology thing, you know, 697, 997, $1,000, you know, 1997. Um, I don't know specifically why the brain is trained, like when you go to Walmart and you go to Target, things of those natures, 9.99, 9.97. It's just a thing that triggers like, if, okay, if it said $10 versus 9.97 or 9.99, I'ma grab it. $10, uh, I don't know, I'ma think about it, right? Yeah, so um, what, as far as in, like you being hands-on with someone, who here is um, hands-on with their clients? All right, you. How much time are you spending with your clients, on average, each client, over a three-month period? Eight hours, so an hour a week for like eight weeks. Okay, how much are you currently charging? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? So I do financial literacy mm -hmm. for the, my company I work for gets paid. Not me, for my group. Okay. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so how much, you, you have, are you a W-2? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you wanna do about that? Okay, perfect. What do you, you, I know you're here to support her, but are you in the same type of business? Uh, I do construction. You do construction, okay. How much you charge for your services right now? Uh, okay. Are you tracking down payments every month? Like following up if they don't pay? Yeah. How many people are you tracking down payments with right now? Eight. Eight, so you, that's a thousand dollars you're tracking down right now. So in, I'm gonna challenge you. Instead of having to chase down eight people for a thousand dollars, how much effort, time, stress, anxiety, uncomfortableness sending texts or whatever, however process you're going through to chase these people down, just say I just need one client that's just give me a thousand dollars right now. Less headache, less work, less less um, back end work, less letters to go out. I just need one client to give me a thousand. I need one client to give me a thousand per week. I just need one client a week. That's four thousand a month. The next month, I need two clients a week. That's eight thousand a month. The next. The Why can't you charge? Why can't you charge that? Credit. Hold on for a second. The whole system is fraud. <laughs> so who can tell you what you could charge for something that's fraud anyway? Right. Right. So. Who, 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 who wrote that law? The people that's doing fraud they sell. Mm -hmm. So why would you, we don't li we, listen, I ain't know nobody that has came to me and said, you know what? They came to me and was like, hey man, you took too many thousand dollar payments up front for your credit repair. You gotta shut it down. Like, you know, Mar Marcus, he's a big dude. Like you said, he's doing seven figures a month. I know a lot of people doing six figures a month, even seven figures a month. 
like I said, we've been charging 2500 since 2012. This is an area to where the whole credit process is a fraud anyway. Credit, the cr stuff on your credit report is fraud. The banks are fraud. The car, car dealerships is fraud. The whole situation is fraud. So you are going against a system that's automatically, it's all fraud. So what I would say is just get comfortable with just going against the, um, what people say is normal and what say is the, is the truth because that's what you're doing already. You're getting things off people's credit report, right? So, which is fraud, right? You're getting negative things off that shouldn't be on them. So I would say start getting what, you, what you're worth. Like ASAP, you live in California? Where you? Texas? Tennessee. Tennessee. Who's your ideal client? Um, I challenge you to start charging $1,000 just up front to start, and I challenge you to get that up over the next three to four months to at least $2,500 and be okay with taking that money up front. And I know for sure you rocking with Jeremy, he could definitely help you how to, how, to, how to do that effectively, but you're setting yourself for a whole lot of anxiety, a whole lot of stress, a whole lot of paperwork for not a lot of money. All right, and I, I know that you, could, that you could do, that you could get more than that. Um, the next thing that I wanted to go into is sales, the sales process. Who here gets nervous when it's time to talk to a client about the sale? Oh, everybody comfortable in here? <laughs> everybody good? Y'all good on the sales process? Anybody here feel like they don't have a sales process? You, no? No sales process? You, you? Okay, if a DM comes into your messages about credit repair, what do you do, what do you do next? Schedule a consultation, okay. Okay, so going back to what he was talking about, what if you had a system that did the sales process for you? Meaning survey, right? It weeds out who's qualified, not qualified. And if they're not qualified, it goes to the ebook, right? $97 product, okay, you don't qualify for my $2,500 credit repair. $2,500 credit repair, you don't qualify for that. But what you do qualify at the time is my done, do it for, you know, uh, do it yourself credit repair, right? I want you to take a shot at the do it yourself credit repair. I'm giving you all the game that I'm doing anyway. This is exactly the process I'm going to use to fix your credit. So here goes the same information that I'm about to use to do it. You could do it yourself for $97 and empower them that way. So, but you don't have that conversation. The software has a conversation. The automation has the, the, the conversation for you. So now you start automating your sales process. And then from there, when you do get on a phone call, let's talk about when they do make it to the sales call. What happens, young lady, back there in the hat? What's your name again, Jade? What happens when you get on the, the, the call, the first call? All right, so let me, let me give you the, what, how a discovery call works. And I think you touched on that word, discovery call. A discovery call is to actually discover if they're a good fit for your products or services, right? And this call is designed to be 10 minutes, 15 maximum, but 10 minutes. And honestly, they're, they're basically selling you on why 
they need your services. And the way you set that up is because they got on your calendar. So this is given the fact that they booked a call on your calendar through whatever funnel you have, through some social media content. They've put their self on your calendar, right? So I'm gonna go through how a call would look, all right? So, hey, Bishop, what's going on? Nothing much? All right, perfect, man. Listen, um, I, see, I see you booked a call today. Um, I just want to let you know I got 10 minutes. I do have a call right after you, so let's get, we're just going to dive right into it. Is that okay? So I just want to ask you a question, man. Why me and why now? Perfect. You got referred to you, man. That's awesome. What I would like to know is, what is going on in your business, my man? Tell me a little bit more about your business. Tell me about what you're looking to do. Where are you at in your brand right now? Where are you looking to go? Nah, this is just, this is going to be in general. I can do credit. I'll go specifically for credit. I'll rewind. Hey, I just saw you booked a call today. I just want to let you know I got 10 minutes, so we're going to get right to it. Is that all right? Yes. All right, so my goal today is to look and see exactly what, where your situation is at, where your credit um, I'm going to analyze it, see what your situation looks like. If I'm a good fit, I'll let you know. If I'm not a good fit, though, I'll let you not know that also, and I'll recommend you to someone that might be a better fit for you. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, cool. So um, I saw you booked a consultation. Tell me a little bit about your credit. Where are you at? What type of derogatories do you have? What's your situation? Okay, so you had a repo, you got some student loans. Let me ask you this. Is there something that you're trying to get done right now that's motivating you to want to get this student loan debt off and this repo off? Yeah, I don't know. Instagram looking for a Rolls Royce, so I'm trying to get my credit fixed. Okay, so, <laughs> so you're looking for a Rolls Royce and you're trying to get your credit fixed? That's a nice car, bro. I've been actually looking at Rolls Royces myself. What do you do for business? Okay, I got you. So I'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> at that point, <laughs> right? Based off of what you're telling me is going on with your credit and the job that you have, I'm a little confused. <laughs> so are you serious about like really getting your credit fixed and getting to the next level? Because unless you're a trust fund baby and you got some money I don't know about, you're working at Walmart, you're trying to get a Rolls Royce, you had a repo, you got student loans. So what's the real reason that you wanted to book a call today? Your wife is gonna pay for it. Yeah. Okay, got you. So you have a spouse. What does your spouse do? Uh, she's a travel nurse. She's a travel nurse. Okay, got you. So that's where the influx of money is coming from, from her resources to be able to get the money for the Rolls Royce. Yeah. Okay, got you. So how soon are you trying to get this Rolls Royce? Uh, well, I seen yours, so I was thinking it was gonna be 30 to 60 days. Look, next 30 to 60 days? Okay. So typically the way our products and services work. Typically the way it works is credit uh, re repair, especially when we're talking about repos and student loans and things of those natures, we're looking at a minimum of 90 days and it could take up to six months to nine months to be able to get you in a position to be able to do that. Are you willing to go through the process that it takes to go from a minimum of three to nine months? Are you going to be patient enough to be able to go through that process? Yeah, well, I'll be able to do it I'm not a dealer and I don't know what your financial situation looks like for your wife and everything else, but regarding these student loans and regarding these, um, the, uh, the repo, that's what I'm concerned about. Isn't that what you're concerned about as well? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this. Are you in position right now to invest in your credit repair or is this something that you're just looking to do later down the line? No, I'm going to go to I'm ready. You're ready to go right now. Okay. So typically the way our products and services work when it comes to expediting credit repair is we charge an upfront fee of $1,500. Are you in position to make that investment today? All right, congratulations, let's get started. That's it. Like, I'm just giving, I'm just giving you, yeah, I'm just, I'm just giving you a number. I'm just giving you an example, right? So I went through, 
I, I did a takeaway when he was talking jazz and talking BS, talking about he worked at Walmart and trying to get a Rolls Royce. So you got to call him out. When you hear things that don't add up, you have to immediately say, well, I'm a little confused. You told me this, but you're trying to do this. Is this something that you're really interested? Like, is this like something that you're ready to go right now? We only about five minutes into the call. So at that point, I could say, hey, is this person going to waste my time? Or is this someone that's really serious and just has a, a, a unique situation? So once I got you back on track, then I have to let you know, OK, is this a now thing? This is the key thing to this first phone call. Because typically, this mic can transfer into a second call, depending on whatever service you offer. Is this a right now thing, or is this something that you want to do later down the line? If they tell me, yeah, I'm just kind of looking at my options, is this something I want to do later down the line? Perfect. Listen, this is, this is what we should do next. Typically, we work with clients that are ready to go right now. If this is something that you want to do later on down the line, what I can do is I can shoot you um, into my text community. What's your email? I'll put you, I'll have your email, I'll put you on my email list. You can stay watching my content, you can stay locked in. Matter of fact, here goes a free ebook or here goes a free video series. You can watch these things, but when you're ready, book a call because we want to work, we have a lot of clients and we want to work with people that's are ready to take action right now. Is that fair? Oh, and then they the backtrack. Oh, no, 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 I think I'm ready right now. What do you mean? You know, so once you do that takeaway, right? They all of a sudden is ready right now. But you, why am I going to have another 15, 20 minute conversation when this is not urgent for you? This is something that you just want to do later down the line. So you're only seven minutes in at that point. So you can end that call, still get them in your funnel, get them in your text community, make sure they're in your email sequence, right? And then keep, give them something of value. So you, they did leave the call with something of value, a free ebook or a free video series they got in your text community, email sequence, whatever the case may be, but you want to end that call. So you're not spending 30, 45 minutes, an hour, with someone that just want to pick your brain and get as much information out of you as possible. And then you'd be like, you know what? Um, that sounds all great. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk to my wife. We're going to see you know, if we can be able to put the money together to rock with you. Because you could have got that information out of that seven minutes.